Hello, my awesome and amazing Pisces. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Let's see what's going on in the overall energy dynamics. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Piscean viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Through, get my card deck here, through the power of the numbers and so it is. And of course, rolling the dice to see what I need to shuffle a deck to. Power of number eight. Power of number six. And power of number five. Okay, so looks like we are going to the number 19. Some of you Pisces could be dealing with a Leo or a Virgo born in the month of August. You could be dealing with a Gemini or a Cancerian born in the month of June. You could also be dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini born in the month of May. You could also be dealing with a Capricorn or an Aquarius born in the month of January. You may be dealing with a Virgo or a Libra born in the month of September. Some of you were born in 1951, 1956, 1958, or possibly 1959 for my more mature audience. You could have been born in 1961, 1965, 1968, or possibly 1969 for some of you. You could have also been born in 1981, 1985, 1986, or possibly 1989. You could be 51, 56, 58, 59 years old. You could be 61, 65, 68, or even 69 years of age for my more mature audience. You could also be dealing straight up with a Leo. Power of number 19 is the sun card in tarot, the most positive card in all of the tarot deck. So going to the power of number 19 for the beautiful star sign of Pisces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. In 19, the seven of cups happened to flip around inside of the deck. Somebody's been trying to confuse you, Pisces, or you could be feeling mentally overwhelmed right now. Could be dealing with a lot of gab, gossiping, whispering that's going on either amongst your friends or your family members, etc. Some of you, Pisces, have been kind of, you know, maybe living under a rock deep in the heart of the ocean right now. So. <laughs> All right, so trusted ancestors of my Piscean viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective energy, please? Show me what's up. The lovers. Something about your romantic life right now, Pisces. Maybe wanting to feel needed, loved, wanted, validated. Power of number six. Number six came up on the second roll of the dice. You could be dealing with a Gemini or a Cancerian born in the month of June, okay? Somebody is in love with you or you are massively in love with someone in particular. Wow, three of coins fell out. Somebody wants to have teamwork and collaboration or see something work out with you. The high priestess, power of number two. Power of number two coming in. Could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces born in the month of February. And yes, a lot of you Pisces were born either at the latter part of February or throughout the month of March, okay? So they're secret. Somebody is secretively in love with you, Pisces. I feel like this person wants to get to know you or you could be spying in on someone in particular on social media or you may find that this person, Pisces, is highly mysterious. 
You never know. You could be dealing with somebody who is, in fact, a tarot reader or an oracle card reader. Who knows? Maybe they even have their own YouTube channel. And for whatever reason, my dog is acting up downstairs, barking. She's been quiet all morning as I've been recording. And she's acting up with you guys. What's up with that? <laughs> What is this high priestess? Wow, king of spears. This would be like the king of wands. You could also be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Somebody's ready to take action or maybe we'll say come out of the dark, maybe to expose or express their feelings towards you. Somebody also has a secret lover. You could be currently married right now and somebody could be having an affair at this moment in time. There's a seven of cups, confusion. Or you're dealing with someone, Pisces, that could be married, possibly behind the scenes, or they have a third party situation going on. They could be leaving you feeling highly confused. They could be making you a choice or an option. Sometimes the king of wands, or in this case, king of spears, uh, they can come in sometimes as a player. Okay, um, I do feel like you're manifesting for the right soulmate in your life, the one that is supposed to be in your life. But right now you could be feeling confused by this person's antics or their behaviors or the way that they text message you or call you or they're in and out or inconsistent. Okay, let's go into, um, I'm going to go into the Hidden Truth Oracle. This could be a person from the past. Somebody is expressing, we will be together again. Somebody could have went silent on you, Pisces. There could have been a really strong connection that was going on between you and a specific person. And this person could have told you like, look, right now I just can't do this. I'm in separation or I'm going through divorce with my wife or going through divorce with my husband. And, but there could have been a love affair that was, a, you know, secret, you know, could have gotten together and felt the physical intimacy between you and this person <clears throat> could have given you mixed signals, et cetera, for some of you. Um, but if this person is not married, then they have somebody else behind the scenes because the high priestess can come in as like a side chick, you know, side guy, side chick, whatever. Um, walk away from the confusion, Pisces. Some of you are dealing with the Scorpio. Heard that very strongly. Could be dealing with the Cancerian, like I said, another Pisces. There's water activity going on, fire energy. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. This person may feel that they're fated and destined to be with you. There's something that draws your energy <clears throat> unto them and vice versa. You may feel that their energy is drawn to you and you could be trying to figure out why this is. Well, in truth, because we're all a walking ball of energy. We don't always connect with every single person on this planet, but you know, you get these moments in time where you just have a strong connection, but let's not get it twisted you know, when somebody's involved, if they're involved with somebody else or a third party, they got to release and let that go. They got to let it go. It's not even worth half the time trying, you know, because what ends up happening is you end up developing these, you know, stronger feelings. But if they're attached and they're not making solid decisions and they're just kind of keeping you on the sideline, you have to walk away, Pisces. You've got to do it, even despite what your heart may tell you. You don't need to go through emotional torture. It's the same with family. It's the same with friends. Don't allow your friends or your family members who are giving you wishy-washy results or trying to confuse you or whatever, walk away from them. You don't need that for your mental health nor emotional health. Everybody could be trying to put their two cents in. You got to do life this way and this is how you should raise your kids and uh, this is how you should handle your money and blah, blah, blah. You know, it's like, no, just walk away. Have the strength and the courage to walk away from somebody that is confusing you, Pisces. You're better than that. Your intuition is better than that. 
Some of you have trusted ancestors on the other side that have witchy, witchy roots. And that runs in your bloodline for some of you. Okay. Um, let's see what they're hiding back. I wish I could share my good news with you. This could be an expression of how they feel about you. But in truth, this person knew exactly what they were doing when they walked away from you. This person could have told you in the past, we need to let each other go. But like I said, walk away, Pisces. If this person is confusing the hell out of you, stop torturing yourself. Listen to your higher intuition. It's not worth all of the emotion just because if somebody walks away, sometimes it doesn't mean that they're not going to come back around the bend. Somebody feels that they, the two of you are going to be together. That is one thing. But you need to save your mental sanity. You don't need to be in this seven of cups. This is my least favorite card in all the tarot deck. Confusion, not, not trusting the higher self. You let it go, you will have a sense of self-respect. I wish I could take back my words. Could have been an argument that had happened. See, somebody's trying to express that they love you. This person does love you, Pisces, and you may love them too. But whatever they're entangled in, they got to get out of that. And that is their choice. That is on their timing. And it's not anything that you can force. Feel like this person Pisces kept you waiting and waiting and waiting maybe you kept them waiting and waiting because maybe you were entangled in something that you couldn't get out of or trying to get out of right now you could have told somebody that the two of you are going to be back together again maybe you do have good news for this person switch the roles around a bit that could very well be happening right now maybe you're trying to be the one right now to get, to get this mental clarity to figure out how you would honestly take action towards someone you could be a masculine pisces you could even be you know a feminine pisces you could be in a heterosexual relationship or a same sex relationship it doesn't matter the bottom line is it is about a choice and there needs to be a releasement here in order i say for the bigger picture for for two people to come in truth to really come together It's kind of, I'm hearing William Shakespeare. I'm a direct descendant, actually, of William Shakespeare. Um, for whatever reason, my cousin William's coming in, okay? Bottom line, I, I saw the title Romeo and Juliet. It could feel that way right now. It could feel like... It's this tumultuous ending, okay? You can feel like this tumultuous ending of the letting go and the pain and the strife and the sorrow and the battle and all of this. Somebody was in a toxic marriage that they need to get the hell out of. It's like poison, drinking poison, Juliet drinks the poison. Rome, I think Romeo gets poisoned. It's, it's been a long time. But the bottom line is, it's like, yeah, drinking the, the poison of confusion. Of this love situation that's going on that's not working out in the moment but there is something here of coming together i'm going to go into the romance angels deck yeah see this person does have romantic feelings for you pisces your feelings are real and worth exploring both of you could feel this way wow somebody's energy is all over the place my cards are flipping emotions the emotions are overtaking somebody right now. <clears throat> Got to get grounded.
Yeah, very soon. The intuition is trying to come in here very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. This is about being crystal clear in your mental intentions, Pisces, about your romantic life. You can have anything or be anything you want, have anything you want. It is a law of assumption. But sometimes spirit has to pull us out of certain situations. Yes, let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. You could have been vibrating at a high vibrational frequency, Pisces, but this person might not have. Because whatever they're entangled in or where their confusion is at, etc. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek. So both of you may feel that the two of you are meant to be together, but they had somebody here had to let somebody go. Soulmate, exactly. They confused you. But yes, this is a soulmate connection going on. But in the moment, it could feel like a karmic connection uh, going on with someone. There's a forgiving and learning and a healing process. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. This person could have said, well, you're my soulmate and all this, but then totally did the opposite, told you that the, the, we need to end this connection and all of this, which probably left you in a state of confusion. But this is, they are saying this is your soulmate. Don't be afraid to let go for the moment if you feel you have to. It, remember, mental health and emotional health come first. You have to put it there first and it will raise your self-esteem. It'll raise, it'll help you to become more self-assured in your self-concept. Don't go chasing after this person. When they return, they're going to have to prove themselves anyway. They have to prove themselves anyway for the relationship to work out. But you've got to trust your higher self, that intuition Release for the moment what is not serving you. If you're in a toxic relationship, release, let it go. Because right now this person's not bringing in, they're bringing intention of this romanticism, but they're not bringing in, I don't see an ace of cups, no ace of pentacles, no ten of cups, no ten of pentacles. Not right now. You might be saying, well, when? Well, part of that has to do Part of it has to do with your man mental manifestations. It has a lot to do with you breaking free out of the matrix of your subconscious mind and only feeding your subconscious mind what your desired reality is going to be. That can also You can also put time frames, you guys. You can, in your manifestations, put time frames, but make sure they're realistic. The reason why you feel that you might not be able to manifest this person in its entirety is because of the confusion, the cloudiness, the clouded judgment, diet, nutrition, exercise has everything to do with your manifestation abilities. Your confidence is what drew this person to you in the first place. So if your confidence got weakened because you were feeling that emotional connection and if you somewhere in the grand scheme of it all, my beautiful Pisces became clingy, needy, or codependent on somebody by chance, okay? Not all of you, but maybe some of you did. That could have lowered your vibrational frequency because you didn't stay mentally independent in truth. You could have been relying on this person all the time to make the choices, to make the decisions, to whatever the case may be. There's so many details. So many details in everybody's situation. The cards are not going to pick up on everybody's relationship aspects. But this person, in truth, they do have feelings for you. There is a strong connection here. But they need to release and let somebody go because they could feel that they feel you are the one that they're supposed to be with, but they got to get out of this stupid ass circus act. So if there is a soon to be ex-wife, soon to be ex-husband, soon to be ex-girlfriend, soon to be ex-boyfriend, they got to come to that realization. You could have told them like your intuition could have been pulsating with you, Pisces, to tell them it's like, look, listen, man, listen, lady, you got to get the hell out of this. 
you want to be with me, you got to wake up to the truth. But some of them weren't willing because they this person has had a lot of fear. They're afraid of losing money. They're afraid of losing assets. They're afraid of losing life insurance policies. They're afraid of it's 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 the earthly tangible that they're afraid of losing. My dog is barking in the background downstairs. So, like Toto's energy is just like barking up a storm right now. It's a sign. So right now, get your energy back into you, Pisces. Strengthen your self-concept. Yes, your person is your soulmate, but they're they're one. They could have said, no, we're not really meant to be together. Now they're wishing that they could take back their words because they know that they confuse you. They knew exactly what they were doing. And she just keeps barking. Mm -hmm. Very soon. Again, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So how do we do that? you got to get very detailed in your manifestations. Write it down. Write it down in a clean notebook, okay, about this person. Write out all the pros and cons of their characteristic traits, okay? Does the good outweigh the bad or does the bad outweigh the good? That will help you also get into mental clarity and get you out of confusion with this person. How many times do they let you down? That would be on the cons list. How many times were they there for you, Pisces? That would be on the pros list. What did they do to show you in truth real affection? It's not just about the physical intimacy. That's like the icing on the cake. What did they do, the little things that they did for you to make you feel validated, to make you feel safe, etc.? Okay, so anyway, my awesome and amazing Pisces, if you would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. But until next time, take care.